Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a new makeup tutorial. I did it on this green eye right here and um, I've been really loving green. Um, I wanted to do like a wearable everyday look. Um, so excuse my hair by the way. Um, I'm going on like third day hair and I didn't want to put it up in a bun because I know my past few videos was just like really really bad. Um, I just put my hair in buns just because it's so convenient. But so just excuse my hair. I actually have it pulled back in the video so it doesn't look a hot mess like it does now. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop rambling now and let's just go ahead and get okay, into this. Okay, so tutorial. to get started, I'm going to prime my eyes with the Benefits um, Stay Don't Stray primer and it looks like this. Um, this definitely makes my makeup um, on my eyes stay all day long. And it's a very, very good primer. It does come off really thick, but um, for my eye primers, I kind of like that thickness um, just because I feel like the eyeshadow has um, something a little bit more sturdy to adhere to so that it sticks. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over my eyelid and a little bit underneath my, um, my eyelid as well because we will be putting some um, eyeshadow there. After that is evenly applied, I'm going to go ahead and um, start out with my highlight color. So, and I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette and it's in Butternut and it's just the doll from the dollar line. And I'm going to take um, this shade right here that's in the corner and I'm going to use that as my highlight. I'm going to take um, my Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to be taking the color Taupe. And ever since I got this palette, um, Taupe has been my crease color for so long. I love it. Never fails me. So I'm just going to take that on just a fluffy brush and I'm going to apply that into my crease. I'm going to focus more of the product on the outside with my brush. Using the windshield wiping motion, I'm just going to go back and forth. Make sure you tap off um, the excess because you don't want um, a lot of this product. Alright, so once you feel like you have added um, enough, I'm going to go ahead and take... This eyeshadow is from MAC, and I'm so sorry, but I've had this eyeshadow for so long that the name actually rubbed off on the bottom. So I'm going to try my hardest to find this. It's just a really nice green pigment um, with kind of like a yellow undertone. This is the pigment that I'm going to be using today. So I'm just going to take a flat shader brush, and you could actually wet this, but um, I'm not going to wet it this time. And I'm just going to place that onto my lid. Maybe kind of weird, but I actually just turned off my studio lights. I felt like it was like washing me out. So um, hopefully this is like a lot better. So I'm just going to go back over that color and just add on a little bit more just to intensify that green just a little tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to go back in with that shader brush and um, with no additional product. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend so that there's no harsh lines. And I'm going to blend that brown color into that green color. With this um, medium angled shading E70 brush from Sigma, I'm going to take this brush and then I'm going to take the color Espresso in the Lorac Pro Palette, which is this dark color right here. And I'm going to define my outer edge using that. So I'm going to start out with um, just a tiny bit of product 
for this and I'm going to focus this on my outer V and drag it inward and then push it upward into this little crevice area right here. And I'm just going to keep building up that color until I feel that it's dark enough and I'm going to stop like right about right here. So then after we do that, I'm just going to blend out the edges again just to make sure there's no harsh lines. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and just sweep away any fallout that I had because this eyeshadow does have a lot of fallout. And then just with the, any concealer you have, I'm just going to take a little bit and clean up the edges of my eye just to make that a little bit sharper, just a tiny bit. I'm just going to take this um, flat brush, it's like an eBay brush, and just um, blend that out. I'm just going to blend everything together. And that is it for this eye look. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some mascara and some eyeliner on. And I will be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look. I just did um, a little bit of mascara, like I said. And I did like a winged liner. And my lip, I just put this e.l.f. Luscious Liquid Lipstick. I don't know the shade, but it just looks like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys want some more makeup tutorials. Um, I have a lot of ideas and different looks that I want to um, achieve, and I'm still trying to work on my lighting. Um, in the beginning of the video, I know that I kind of um, had a lot of bright lights and it was washing me out, so I turned off my studio lights and then I just had my ring light on. So I hope that was a little bit better for you guys. Um, I do try and film in natural lighting as much as possible, especially for my makeup tutorials. So in the future, I will try to get better at that um, for you guys. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys.